What's good, my guys? You're at Radical Improvements, and on this channel, we're looking to optimize our style for dating. Just doing to do an easy, nice, fun one today. It's been a stressful day. My bank and my telephone company tried to cancel on the same day, which is quite annoying to happen within about an hour of each other. Before I get started on today's topic, I just wanted to bring up um, raw hem ripped jeans. These are a fantastic option if you're in a hot country or in summer for adding a little bit of edge to your outfits, but that's not why I want to talk about them. <laughs> I bought these ones from Bershka. They were like 10 bucks, so it was like a no-brainer. Interesting choice of where to put the rips. So you've got this tiny hole here over the crotch. I don't know what Bershka is trying to say. And then <laughs> there's a rip in the bottom of the pocket on the back, yeah? which I only found out about when I put a coin through it. The, I'm all for like ripped jeans and ripped shorts and all that shit. I was against it for a while, but if you put your rips in stupid places, it's like a joke, which I, it's amusing, I guess. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I used to dress. The reason I wanna do this is because a little while ago, I did an interview with Andy, who's also known as Curly and a Loser. You can see, I will link it down below, actually, the interview we did. In there, I was a little bit mean to him because I threw up a load of pictures that I found from his old, old, old vlogs when he first started self-improvement. And I wanted to show like how he used to dress and what his vibe used to be like. And you know, that's mean to do that to someone and then not show your own like dirty laundry, dirty laundry, that's the wrong word, skeletons in the closet. It's mean to do that and not show your skeletons in the closet. So I'm gonna have a look at how shit I used to dress and you guys can all have a nice little laugh about it. We're gonna go all the way back to my university days, which I guess is kind of like the, the days when I first started trying to get laid, first started trying to get dating. Let's see how I presented myself. All right, this first picture, I'm really young by the way, this baby, you can see the baby face and I've still got hair. You can get an idea here of like what I was doing. Like this actually was one of the better outfits that I would have worn because the, the pants, those chinos actually fit me, I remember, and the t-shirt sort of fits okay. You're gonna see a lot of terrible graphic graphic t-shirts. Get used to that. Also blue, get used to blue. I was really into blue and graphic t-shirts. <laughs> uh, graphics were like these kind of graphics, these like full frontal graphics were kind of in back in the day. So that's how I forgive myself <laughs> for these choices. But yeah, at least I'm wearing, I'm wearing bracelets. So I've got accessories on. Only one accessory though, you need at least two. Um, my rule is two to four. You want to have two accessories up to four accessories. Uh, if you have like multiple rings, that counts as one. You get the idea. I'm wearing three at the moment. All right, this is an example of how like I used to, when I went on certain nights out to like decent clubs, cool bars, I thought you had to go dressy and like that's how all my friends went. So I like tried to dress up and this is a good example of how shit I was at trying to dress up with these like dress pants that don't fit me at all. I'm wearing them like low, hung low as well. Uh, you can't really see, but I'm wearing brown shoes. So I've got brown shoes, gray pants, and a black t-shirt, and a black shirt. <sighs> yeah, I don't have much to say about this. This is just to throw this in because I was trying to show you guys that like, when I tried to dress up, it was still a horror show. All right, so in like third year of uni, I'd found good looking loser and I was trying to like actually dress more appropriately. And so this is what I would wear kind of going out. Throw back to the days when you used to uh, tuck your, your your shirt into your belt to show your belt. I, I don't remember why everyone used to do this. Used to if you had like a decent belt buckle, I think guys would do this. But uh, I'm wearing a lot of like I think I'm wearing a leather cuff in that. Because like back when I was first learning about like pickup and shit, so and they used to wear like really like leather cuffs and stuff and like some really flamboyant like accessories. I'm also interestingly, you can probably tell, wearing fake tan. <laughs> Like my eye, it's like got stuck in my eyebrows. That's why my eyebrows like a, like a weird color. And it also got stuck in my beard. All right, I threw this in just to show you like the blue that I used to wear a lot of, like this kind of baby blue, light blue. The illusion here with this kind of blue is to like, it's like a child's color. It's like a young boy's color. You don't really want to be wearing like this sort of color blue, especially with t-shirts. Like bright blue, bright pastel blue t-shirts. Mm -mm. You want to be wearing like new, strong male neutral colors. This is not one of them. So yeah, avoid like those bright colors, but especially like bright light blue. I used to wear it a lot, so I'm a little bit more against it than maybe some other people are, but I, I yeah, it's not a good option. And you can see the graphic. It's actually one of the cooler graphics t-shirts I had, but I still obviously wouldn't wear it today. 
All right, so I'm into the traveling pictures. You're gonna see a lot of me wearing like shorts and like a blue t-shirt, again, blue. Uh, the I've got two pictures here, like one is on a beach and one is hiking. I would like to tell you that I only wore these sorts of outfits on the beach or hiking, but in Australia, I took the opportunity of like being in a warm country to basically wear this all the time. So, especially this one with like the, the, the shitty trainers, the light blue shorts, this wasn't just a hiking outfit for me. I vividly remember wearing this like to walk around the town and people in public saw me dressed like this, which is pretty atrocious. It's very lazy, yeah? So, the university photos, I felt like at least I was trying with how I dressed back then, but I just didn't know what I was doing. So I was trying, but I didn't know what I was doing, which is a lot of you. But then there's also a lot of you who are not trying and you don't know what you're doing. So you know you don't know and you don't care. And for the first couple of years of traveling, that was me. I was that guy. I didn't know, I didn't care. This is a good example of like how I go out on nights out. Terrible like grooming at this time as well, Jesus Christ. But like I'd throw like this weird pineapple graphics tee underneath this denim shirt. Uh, yeah, I still have that denim shirt, I think, somewhere. It has uses. We're getting into the stage of my wardrobe where I still have some of the stuff in these pictures. And I'll talk about this later, but there are, when I do a consultation with a client, you can often find stuff in their wardrobe they can, they can use. Even if their wardrobe is mostly bad, you'll find items that they can be repurposed into outfits. So this, this shirt was repurposed into a few decent outfits I wore as well. But this is a good example of like just wearing stuff that doesn't really work together. Uh, here's a good example of like, so this looks like a joke outfit. Like I look like I'm taking the piss. Like I don't care about like how I dress, but I genuinely wore this like as a regular outfit while I was traveling. Yeah, that shirt was like, bought ironically but if you wear something ironic all the time the only joke is you you don't have to take life too seriously but like fuck me look good uh this is like the graphic tee i wore a lot of yeah again this is like basic bitch like i look like a nice guy that's traveling that's what the problem with this is you know inoffensive colors like you know don't doesn't strike you doesn't anything like that at all some people like this t-shirt a lot of people like this t-shirt which is why i wore it a lot there's like graphic tee but like Nah, it's like a purple. It's like, a, it's not a good color. Ah, I wanted to finish on this. Is, this is what I was talking about when you can repurpose items. So again, I'm wearing a lot of blue. Like again, I tried to stop wearing blue as quickly as possible after I figured out style. But with this blue, sorry, the jacket is important. So this jacket's like kind of like a racer style jacket and it fits me really well and it still does to this day. So I still own this. This is a, a piece of my outfits today. I have quite a few outfits that I use the leather jacket with. So when you go to transform your style, which I hope guys who watch this channel are considering doing, remember that there will be stuff in your wardrobe that you can use. Don't throw everything out with the bath water, okay? There's gonna be some stuff that you can use. Try and figure out what that is. Try and figure out if any of the items you have kind of match like items in great outfits, either that I, you find in my guides or my videos or you find on Instagram. You'll, you will have some stuff that works but make sure it's very close. Like don't just throw on, like I had a guy, I made up an outfit which was just kind of like a black hoodie, black ripped jeans and white trainers or whatever. It was pretty, pretty basic, like a nice casual outfit. And this guy went into his closet and pulled out like a university hoodie that didn't really fit him. And it was like the wrong color. It was kind of black, but it had like university logo and stuff on it. It just wasn't the outfit What I said. I was like, it has got to be an unbranded kind of relaxed fit black hoodie and then you wear accessories around it. And you didn't get that like, you can't just mix and match these items. They're kind of specific. But if you have those specific items, unbranded, in a strong male neutral color or tone, you're probably gonna be able to use it somehow. All right, I hope you enjoyed going through my wardrobe of horrors from my old, my old self. This was a fun video. Peace out guys.